it's gonna be a starter for the series and then I will start to make it a bit more fun. And so yeah, he just created a random nest and he just lived some part of the day. But yeah, we have discovered nice. I have completed all four of the main worlds. So I still didn't complete the challenge. And so when you complete it, then it oh, it is absolutely fantastic. This before noon period, it's 11.22 a.m. We don't even get that morning mist this time. It's already a full sunshine and a sharp sunshine. Absolutely a perfect weather. Now, oh, what about for the plush balls? Ah, ah, I am. <laughs> yeah, well, that was last Friday. And the thing is, I don't put a new plush balls episode every Friday. The next episode I'm going to put out is going to be on May 12th. So to be more simple, I'm just giving guys a heads up here. But yeah, if you enjoyed the first Plush Bowls episode, if you found it fun, then that's great to hear. So this is just going to be a starter for the series. And then I will start to make it a bit more fun, creative, and much more story-like from the middle of August. Which, at this time, we might have to come back here. So... It's going to be a whole new thing and you'll get to know the Plush Bowls series much better. Alright, another game review on Astro's Playroom. So look, you can see all the stuff that I got in the PlayStation Playroom. And look, look how I just did. And I earned the trophy for the disc wrap. This is funny. It's a PS2. I have mentioned this earlier this week. But oh, I cannot fly above it. But some microphones here too, so this is the, all the items that I got from the worlds that I have completed, the missions. So now I'm going to fly up and I'm going to begin a new adventure. Let's see, they got some swords in this too. Alright, so I'm going to head back to the CPU plaza. So up and goes. Alright, take the road. Okay, where to now go next? Memory Meadow. I've already been there. And where does this take me to? This is kind of special. Cooling Springs. It's going to take me back in time, obviously. But Bot Beach. Okay. That's a great start. Oh, it starts with an aqua park. Right. So the first mission is I take the water slide down. That's an interesting start, honestly. It's actually really, really special. It's like somewhere to swim around and hop so where even am i up ah, can i even pass through this oh i dang it i can't okay like why can't i gotta get back on the sand though to see some fishing going on there too by the way you might have noticed but gotta get back to see where the journey continues so that was an epic stuff oh now it becomes really really windy here so how am i gonna be able to pass this Oh, that was fair. Oh, am I going to space again? Okay, it turns out that the seaside walk continues, except I'm in a swimming pool. Wow, I was just at the beach and now I'm in a pool. Got all these machines, I'll show you a bit around. You see that? It's like clockwork. All right, so I'll continue. Where am I gonna go to now? Springy Spa. Guess what's that they call it? Am I gonna go down the water slide? Is that what it is? Oh, I'm gonna jump. Press R2. Oh, okay, so depending on the amount of time that you hold the button, then it goes this strong. And now I have to tilt it to the left. So when you're going to the left, you just have to tilt it the same way. Oh, like depending on where you're really going. Okay, much better. Oh, yeah, I tilted the wrong way, folks. Hey, look, you can collect as many coins as well. Oh, wait, what the heck? Oh. Okay, so you don't have to tilt anywhere at this one. Oh, now I go through the frog's pool again. Whoa! <laughs> Where does this take me now? Oh, frigid flows. Okay, I thought this was gonna be like a water slide or something. 
But you know, so there are some more data boxes in this. Oh, I got another slide, is it? Oh my God. I'm gonna freeze. Woo! My God, so it starts with the beach and then it comes all down to the Arctic. Oh man. Oh nice heavens. Looks like I finished another world. Pull this plug out. Oh man, what did I get? A PlayStation 3. Another artifact. This is amazing. All right, let's see what that comes with. So there, that simply means that I have finished another world for this game. Skip this, and there. So I added the PlayStation 3 into my PlayStation Labo. And off to the second round. All right, well, there's no birds this time. It's weird to see one of these hummingbirds or whatever these are, because before we left, we have actually figured out that there was a hummingbird at some point in one of our balconies. He created like a random nest. I'll take these glass off since we're getting in. So yeah, he just created a random nest and he just lived some part of the day in it. But yeah, we have discovered a hummingbird in the balcony in our house. Didn't take any footage of it though, but now it's for the second round in this door. You know, it looks like a lot has changed in this Levis and in this Puma Adidas area. And I'm in, in the last week. Doesn't change that fast, but when I came here last week, it was looking mostly different. <laughs> nice i have completed all four the main worlds of astro's playroom and now i have started on the challenge modes so finally got myself into the next stage so you go into certain worlds like for example the space travel and then the tree climbing just making it up but later in this video i'll get to show you a bit of that challenge stuff on the game as well and the thing is that you had to get to the goal in the shortest possible time well i've already done one of this but i haven't completed the challenge it took me 10 attempts and i still didn't complete the challenge and so when you complete it then it shows you the amount of time that it takes and so you have to get to the goal in the shortest amount of time and whatever you get then it would seem pretty achievable if you get to the goal in under one minute so you would actually need extra practice and you also need to learn from what you have done in the main worlds so this will take a lot of memory and a lot of rehearsal but to be true and clear most of the graphics look pretty close to the ones in Super Mario Odyssey, if you remember my gameplay videos from that game, which I like, bought the Nintendo Switch like two weeks before. Yep, thank goodness. If you get that checkpoint, I'm gonna have an argument with these yellow guys because you can see I only have one life left. So I'm at network speed run. Now I got this space run, frozen, stormy, rolling, hopping, or jetpack. So I try the space run first. So I'm gonna go on that and we'll see how I perform. I'm in the space odyssey now. And here I go. So I'm gonna go as fast as I can.
Here I jump. Here I flip through and yeah, it moves. Ooh, this is when it's getting even harder. At this point, it just falls. At least the trampoline makes you a bit lucky at some point. Oh my, no! Okay, I'm gonna have to try that again. That was unexpected and unprecedented. So I'm just gonna have to go as fast as I can. And to complete this in the shortest amount of time. So I jump off that trampoline again. And here. And there's no checkpoint in this insanely. Like, even if you come close to the end, like if you fall down all of a sudden, then you have to start all over again. It's not like a level or anything. This is a real challenge. Okay, yeah, so that was the point that... All right, walk away. Okay. Onto that I go. Finished. All right. Okay, so it's at 57 seconds and 81 hundredths. See what I can do next. Where am I gonna go? Well, I'm gonna go on the rolling one. So, it starts. Yeah, it's kind of funny now you have to hold the X button for a full second. Well, here I go, folks. It's gonna be a joyride, but let's see how it will be. Yeah, the thing really is that if you hit the sand and that slightly slows you down, but it's gonna get rocky here in this point. So if you get into a swamp, and that's also considerably a sticky situation. Oh my God. Yeah, this is the point that you have to be a bit more careful and more delicate to see how it goes. Oh, now this is even harder. Oh, yikes. Hope I don't fumble on this one. Here we go. Okay, all right, go, 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 go. All right, yeah, I passed the difficult part. And finish. How much did I do it? All right, this one took 51 seconds and 76. And that forest world, I just completed it and now it has all turned to snow. Let's see what I'm gonna do about this. Yeah, I collected 3,152 PlayStation coins. That's over 3,000 coins I collected. And is this gonna be, is that a PlayStation? Oh, it's a PS4. All right, so now I have finished the Jungle World and now that's the PlayStation 4. Well, yeah, I mean, I did say that earlier, didn't I? Like, haven't completed all four worlds, but I realized that I didn't save my progress and I'm like, what the heck? And so I had to continue from that climbing mountain that where there's some moving circles and stuff. A bit awkward, but that was the hardest part after I finished. Also, there were some like evil caterpillars and I had to dodge them as well. As long as I don't bump into any of them, and then I climbed all the way up and then that was pretty much the end. That was pretty much the top. And then I came to this frost land. But for now, I am coming close to the final mission of the game as I have found that secret path to what should be a time machine at the basement of the CPU plaza. So you get into this time machine that takes you back to 1994. And so the mission is called 1994 Throwback. I don't know why they call it like that, but you have to fight with a T-Rex, something like that. It's a hidden dark room. Anyway, guys, so I will show you that part in the coming days. For now, I'm going to say thank you so much for watching this vlog because it's the end. I'll see you guys in the vlog tomorrow. Have a fantastic day.